Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to another episode of Life with Marianne and Joe. And today I'm going to do another one of my, um, I guess you'd call it like a reaction video to something I've read. And uh, today's topic is things that in your that you have in your house that m might be grandma. Uh, so um, like you that are listening to this, some of you may be a little insulted by that as I am because um, anything that is classic or um, older than it came out yesterday is uh, grandma. Uh, and it's just another example of ageism, I think, and picking on the boomers. You know, the big thing right now is a lot of the young people like to blame everything and uh, anything and everything on those of us that were uh, considered baby boomers. Uh, so this video is uh, a compilation of some things that someone, not me, someone decided was grandma. And if you don't understand what that means, it just means it makes you look old and it makes your house look old and dated and um, laughable to uh, a lot of these uh, people who wrote this thing. And um, I guess they found it amusing. So, but I just wanted to pass it on to you uh, because I guess, you know, some of us are guilty of having things that uh, should have been gone a long time ago, uh, but they do hold sentimental value to us and therefore we hold on to them. Or sometimes we just get complacent and we, don't change things out. Me, personally, uh, for those of you who know me, you know that I, I can't you know, stand in <laughs> one place for very long, and therefore I'm always changing stuff, which drives Marianne a little bit crazy because she just gets settled into something and I'm changing it. Or you know, I do something and then she likes it. She doesn't like it at first because it's new, and then once it's there, she likes it so much that when I go to change it, she feels bad and she complains that she doesn't want me to change it. So um, even with that being said, I am um, guilty of a few grandma things, I guess, too. Uh, but it's stuff that I like and it's stuff that Marianne likes. And it's also stuff that is kind of like expensive to change out. So little by little, I might change some of the, you know, the big ticket items out. But um, it's not something that, you know, uh, most of us can, you know, do, go out and change our entire decor every year to fit the trends and the ideas of the decorators and to keep up with all the young people out there. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy this and you won't get insulted by it. I was a little insulted as I read it, but anyway, uh, well, I, I wanted to share it with you. So please hit that subscribe button if you just stumbled on me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. G give me a thumbs up and also drop me a comment. Believe it or not, that puts me in the YouTube algorithm that more people can see my videos because not too many people watch them and I would really like them to get out to more people. So get ready. Here is our reaction to things in our house that might make our house look a little grandma. Okay, here we go. Home decor that just screams granny chic. The first thing is plastic couch covers. I don't really think anybody has plastic couch covers any longer. I don't think so anyway, but if you do, this is something that can age your house and give you that granny chic kind of look. Plus, to be honest with you, this really isn't good for your furniture. It doesn't allow your furniture to breathe, so and it's really uncomfortable, so I would get rid of those anyway, granny or not, I would ditch that. Next thing up is fake flowers. Now, this is something I'm guilty of myself for my vignettes, 
seasonally. I generally don't keep fake flowers out in, in vases and things like that uh, during the year. Uh, number one, because it collects a lot of dust and I can't, uh, I can't take that. I start to sneeze and stuff. So I would get rid of the fake flowers if you want to not look, have a granny chic look. These Anna Lee dolls, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. I never heard of them before, but according to the person who wrote this article, it is something that looks really old fashioned if you have them. They kind of look cute for Easter, I think. Um, floral wallpaper. Wallpaper is always a, a sticking point. Um, it can make it can age your house, especially if it's been up a while and it gets stained. And you know, when you move the pictures, you see what the real what your wallpaper really looked like behind the picture. So that's something that is not an easy change out, but something that can age any house. Needlepoint. Something that people love to do, it's a relaxing thing, and of course you wanna display it, so go ahead and display it. Who cares what, what they think, if they think it looks old fashioned or not? That's a personal thing that people enjoy doing, so whatever to that one. Um, ornate frames, I'm guilty of that. My mirror in the dining room is very ornate, and I love it. I don't know if it's because we're Italian and we like that kind of stuff, but um, you know, I like those, especially on beautiful paintings when the frame is really beautifully, you know, a beautiful frame. I, I can understand how that looks old fashioned. Uh, decorative plates. I was never guilty of this before I started doing YouTube, but I use them for my, uh, my vignettes for fall and winter and spring and so on. But I take them back down again. I don't generally leave those kind of things out all the time, except in the china closet. Um, it's just something I get, I've never really done. Um, colored glassware, again, um, if I would use it, I would use it in a vignette for a holiday uh, scene or whatever. Uh, but according to them, if you have these out, it would look old fashioned to a lot of people, especially those that are younger. This pin tuck pillow, um, again, I, I never really think too much about pillows. I, I, you know, some certain patterns obviously will look old fashioned, but I didn't think this one in particular is pointed out as granny chic. So uh, again, and I know these pillows are expensive. So if you have them and you like them, you keep them and love them. A barometer, this is funny because we actually did have a barometer a long time ago and I did ditch it. Uh, but again, I guess some, certain people like it, especially when you live you know, near the ocean and whatnot, I think. Um, wall clocks, not the kind that Joanna Gaines made popular, you know, those giant wall clocks. They're talking about like cuckoo clocks and small clocks that you hang on the wall um, is considered uh old fashioned and granny chic. Paisley print. Once again, I uh, this is not a print that I actually considered as being old fashioned, but I guess because it was popular in the 60s and 70s, um, it is now considered old fashioned. But I think based on the piece of furniture it's on, it may not look so old fashioned. I don't think that chair looks so old fashioned to me anyway. Floral wall art, mm, I am guilty of that. I do have some uh, pictures of flowers, but they look like they're painted on the wall and um, I like them, but I think it all has to do with the framing of those. If it has one of those gold frames around the outside, it might look a little old fashioned. Farmhouse decor has now moved into the granny chic category. And again, they pushed this so much that everybody did so much with farmhouse and now they changed it away. That farmhouse is granny looking. So again, they want you to throw everything out and start buying new stuff once again. So that's up to you. Again, all of this is up to you. Anything mauve, uh, one of my mother's favorite colors and she went mauve crazy. Um, she had vertical blinds mauve, a mauve rug and she was just, she went crazy uh, mauving everything up and um, we did have to get rid of that. But that was a long time ago that I got rid of that. I want to say in the 90s, I kind of like ditched all of that stuff for her and my father. Oak cabinets, way 
popular in the 90s, not so much now, but you don't have to change them out if you don't have the funds to do that. All you need to do is sand them, paint them, and put on some new hardware, and they will look absolutely fine. Doilies. I haven't seen a doily in anyone's house I in I don't know how long. I always think of my grandmother, which is funny when, about a doily because she used to crochet and she had crocheted a lot of them, but I haven't seen any of them recently. I don't even know if people still use them. Potpourri, popular back again in the 90s and early 2000s. P people had dishes of potpourri all over. Uh, it is not so much a thing to keep out any longer. Uh, it's time to get rid of that. Silk flower arrangements, like I said before, you know, it, I like to use them for, you know, spring arrangements and Easter and things like that. Again, this is all personal things. If you like them, guess what? You, you keep them. It's as simple as that. And whoever doesn't like it doesn't have to look at it. But they will aid your house according to whoever wrote this article. Precious Moments Angels. I remember these used to be popular, I want to say when, in the 80s and the 90s, and a lot of people have big collections of them that they have in their china closets or in their curio cabinets and so on. Kitchen Ivy. This is something, again, that, you know, uh, in the article I read on big kitchen mistakes, it's people that use ivy up on top of their cabinets. If their cabinets don't go up to the ceiling, they intertwine the ivy on the top. And, you know, they talk about how it catches dust and grease and whatnot. Um, so it does age your house, according to the article again. Uh, Pioneer Woman Kitchenware. Um, I this they sell this in Walmart, right? I didn't think it was Granny because wasn't this popular just like a couple of years ago? But like I said, you know, it's yesterday's mashed potatoes if it came out yesterday. So this is considered Granny chic as well. Dust ruffles. I had discussed this once before with you. Dust ruffles, and a lot of people wrote to me and said, I didn't know dust ruffles were, were out of style. Um, yeah, the bottom of the bed now is clear. Uh, you know, they don't put the dust ruffle around the bottom. But if you have an ugly looking frame on the bottom, I would suggest use the dust ruffle. Just don't use it so frilly, I guess. And oak furniture. Uh, again, easily paint it out. All you need to do is sand it down and paint it or use uh, chalk paint and it will cover right over. The next one is cherry furniture, which was very, very popular in the 90s. And uh, once again, this is considered very old fashioned when someone sees it because it's dark. Remember, everything is light now, you know, white and beige and so on. So something so dark is considered old fashioned ferns. A lot of people I see it on YouTube still use ferns. They use them in, in decorative corners in front of the fireplace during the spring, um, you know, uh, on the sides of the doors and so on. But they are considered granny chic, according to the person who wrote this article. Ceramic cat statues. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't know why. I guess they picked a cat because of cat lady. I, I don't know. But anyway, that they're saying that that is granny chic. Yard flags, which I found surprising, but they said this is something that's, uh, you know, popular among the boomers because we like to announce everything to everyone and we even have to announce what season is so everybody knows. Mm, whatever. Magazine racks. Well, I guess a young person would think that that's granny because they don't use magazines. They don't get magazines. They don't read magazines. They don't look at magazines. Everything is done on their phone or on their laptop. So a magazine rack would suggest that it might be a little bit old. The entire Martha, Martha Stewart collection. I don't know. I don't get this. I thought Martha Stewart was popular amongst uh, all ages, especially since she hangs out with Snoop Dogg now. So I don't know. I don't get it, but that's what they say. Okay, so that's the list. Did you find that silly or insulting? Some of them I find insulting, but you know, I'm very sensitive. 
when it comes to things like that. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Please drop me a comment. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you can. I would greatly appreciate it. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And hopefully I'll be getting, I, I still have to do, uh, I wanted to update you on my yard. Uh, my tomato plants are doing horribly. Um, and um, I have a few things more that I'm going to be doing in the house. And uh, I am not starting my fall decorating, although I am seeing a lot of that happening on YouTube. Uh, I am loving the summer and I am going to stick in the summer, <laughs> stick with the summer right now. Okay, everybody, I hope you're doing well. Take care and I will be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye.